City. Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Cause the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. afternoon Attention all Darktown residents this is Kirk Hansen and I'm our aircraft is crafted on dish It'd be funny if that was the code. I'm doing a quick gig, and then I'll go back to the main. Two seven five three.
How's everybody doing today? Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh-huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. Doing just fine, Plague. Come on, hurry the frick up. Jesus, is that... Harry? The man was a real prick, but this... It's barbaric. I got a message from my, uh... From my manager. I suppose is that one of the reasons your channel's not doing so hot? Burned it's because of all the swearing you're doing. Nearly burned here. And I said, what? <sighs> and I said, because of an exuberant amount of swearing in your videos, it's starting to affect it. I said, it's never affected it before. I said, well, it's affecting it now. Well, that's fun. More things I have to worry about. Right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Prem, got it. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Wait. I heard you slaughtering them. Which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. ...will vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. It's time we were on our way. Couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. They don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? Huh. Wow. We're lying about being an engineer, huh? Hey, as long as it stops working. Who knows, man? Who knows? Should be safe here. Ah, <sighs> I owe you one. Truly, it was getting was quite ugly those back there. Beans. Are you fucking insane? Sure thing. Thank you, name. Sounds yes, like I'm leaving empty handed, like, right? Well, uh, yeah, I suppose I'm have to. I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Oh no, no, no! You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure, he'll want to handle the prototype, personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves now, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... Uh... I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... it would be a death sentence. Fucking haze me, Hassan. Put my shit on the line for you. And you want to leave me out to dry? I was in a goddamn scav cage. You would have left if I told you the truth. Maybe, maybe not. But you definitely made a big mistake trying to con me. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures.
Eh. Okay. You and me. Never met. Our story? Scav's got the schematics. Prototype went AWOL. We clear. You... really? Yes. Understood. I... thank you. Now I Delta. You find a big-ass rock, crawl under it. I mean it, Hassan. Zeta Tech gets half a whiff, you're dead. Right. Okay. Sly bastard bamboozled the corp and you in the process. Do nothing for Hassan. But I got a feeling his luck ain't gonna last. Big fall. What the... What the spruce? Usually you'd parent those to objects or meshes or animation data. It's strange to see it floating. Zeta Tech's paraphernalia. Any issues? Birdie didn't say. Prototype wasn't around. Got the schematics, though. That an issue? It's certainly a snag. Zeta Tech will not be thrilled, but I suppose that's my cross to bear. Transferring your compensation now. Cool. Get more work streams? Uh, maybe. Work streams are strange. The problem with work streams is that I really enjoy them because I don't have to do a whole lot to enjoy them. But problem is, is like, I gotta make money, you know? That's just the separation between Neo and I. Neo gets donations for doing whatever. Even though I don't really ask for them. I guess times are changing. Okay. Clinic has a visitor. Got any spare implants for sale or all of them spoken for? Nothing's wasted here. We can find something, provided you don't try to haggle. Okay. Nice. I'll take that and then sell. Chrome compressor. Oh, it increases your cyber capacity. Okay. Noted. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Mm. 
Mm, very nice. Golden heart would be swell. Oh, apparently I have a golden blood pump. I didn't know that. I just don't really have the money for this. I will be upgrading my blood pump, though. I actually do not see any of these being useful. It just upgrades this small little bit right here. Oh, wait, and this. Okay. So, let's see. Well, health item effect seems super useful, considering it's my health item. Fifty grand on that one. Might as well put it in. What was that thing that Thompson mentioned? What was it called? Yeah, pain deucer. Is it over here in the circulatory system? <laughs> yeah, he did say something called chitin. Oh, okay. Here it is. It's down here. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? Thank you, Consolardi. Chitin. There it is. Dang, chitin is expensive. Let's see, is there anything that I don't need?
Oh, I'm actually really close. Uh, I can make a sacrifice or two. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Let's just wait till I level up a bit more, then I'll get Chitin. Damn, that would be so nice to have. 5% cooldown reduction on killing something? Mmm. Mwah, that would be so nice. Almost done. I promise I won't be in here for much longer. Oh, I straight up just do not have enough eddies for any of that. strength. Ever heard of a game called Soul Slinger? I have not. Maybe I should get that one when I can afford it next, but that's just way too expensive. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade you, because I definitely have enough. And then I'm going to upgrade you. There's only one upgrade. I, think I can upgrade you one more time. Did I fuck Pan Am yet? I sure did. <laughs> Damn right I did. Alright, I say we're good. Okay, it says wait two days for Reed's call, but it's been way more than two days. Strange that 
this is important for the relic. I don't even know what this is. It's just random Militech software. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh yeah, I also found this. An actual good looking revolver. Okay, there should be a side quest not that far. Level up. Go to reflexes. Bada bing. And then into dash we go. Hasn't bet yet. Last bet. Last bets. Aaron Waynes. Which one's he? Uh, Aaron. Uh, orange shorts. And the others. Will Corey. Uh, Dogtown. <laughs> Born and bred, baby. Bets aren't even on the one in. Last chance. I know this racket. Pokey rakes in a hundred eddies, and the wind nets me. What on top? Ten? Twenty? 25. Not how we do it in Haywood. How about this? 300 on Aaron, you pay out double or nothing. Deal? Fine. You got it. Not to have to take a dive for a change, huh? Well, fuck you, Will. Seems like a nice guy. Decent hook you got. Thanks. Name's V. Fred sent me. <laughs> wow. Old man said he got someone. I'm sure it was lying. Look, V, got a thing I need to take care of. Dangerous people involved. Need tough hustle to watch my back. Hey, won't run from trouble. Interested? Okay. Gonna help. Need deets to start. Yeah, d d his Scan arms base, look like Gatorade. Clinic. Home to a ripper. Demir. Met him back in my days running with the animals. Our crews were tight. Did biz together. Fight I got coming up's important. Should see Demir before I hop in the ring. Need you to help me with the ladder. Listen, this is Demir. You sure only he can help you? I mean, need a good ripper. I know a few. All easier to get an appointment with. Think I didn't consider that? The man's my one option. It's a fucking shitty story all in all, V. I'll finish it once we're there. So, we agreed? All good? Okay, got a deal. I'll help. Cream fucking news, V. So listen, got some things to figure out, tend to here, but then I'll meet you at Terra Cognito.
Crazy guy. Oh, sorry. Fuck. My bad. Nerf brand anchor arms. <laughs> Yeah, sorry if I'm not talking a whole much. Just, just relaxing right now. Um, I'm just. Ah, come on, dash. Yeah, this morning I woke up. Wonderful, feel great. Went and took a walk. Still feel great, still wonderful. Everything just top notch. I so I feel good. Ha! Huh. Only thing is, I'm a little bit more hungry than I was yesterday. If the crumb stuff is real, Waiting. probably wouldn't partake in it, to be honest with you. V! It's good to see you. This way. Just finished up my snake oil for the day. Terra Cognita. Impressive. As I see it. Meh. City center post. Maybe the maybe the double jumps would be nice, but I don't know if I would have it in me. Pacifica on steroids. Pacifica's a rotten corpse. Dogtown's vibrant, but Terra Cognita has its crown fucking jewel. Must really like the place. Hung out in DT while my dad worked construction here. When that all went bust, we moved outside the wall. Back inside about a year ago, when I left the gang. Big building there. Honestly, if I could have Chrome to I make me bulletproof, right and I mean like bullet bulletproof, maybe. Hold up. One other thing I need to say. Peeps like you. Always more to your stories. Never fails. <sighs> Truth is. Animals fix my fights. Angie, Animals Alpha, she decide which round I go down in. Chip in my head lets her do that. Fuck. Inner ear disruptor. Flip the switch, I flop over like a fish stood on his tail. So, afraid of other rippers botching the job. Want the chip removed by the guy who installed it. Yeah. It want it done today, too. Wanted to be a boxer, they turned me into a Yeah, me neither, line. David. I take a dive now. Nobody but I wouldn't want to fall asleep in fight. these dingy ass ripper dogs unless chance. it was Vic. Let's make sure it's not that's wasted. If then. I knew Vic like V does, I'm not friends with Vic like V is. Vic's probably a piece of shit. Like you have to think of it. In in the perspective of like, it, like me, like in real life, right now, 
if you don't know me, we, we might not be friends because we might not, you know, mesh well. Maybe you'll say something or I'll say something that might not click. But me to my friends, we click place. all the time. Any idea how we get in to see the man? <laughs> not yet, but I'll figure something out. Fuck off or die. Your choice. <laughs> Cat food. Ah, it's already complete. Yeah, David's Ripper was also a bad guy. I love the ground pound so much. How do you get up there? So cinematic and beautiful. Fuck the beach. instead of F. How do I throw again? Sometimes the only hog is the whole hog. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. You not to come, I've man. seen that guy's face Gamma. before. Yet you do! And, and with protection? Who the hell is this? Relax. Just here to make sure Aaron leaves in one piece. 
You don't get it. If Angie finds out, I'll end up in the bay. A hole in my face. Cement shoes on hands and feet. Demir, you're the best ripper in this part of Dogtown. Angie won't touch you. Just help me with the chip, please. You gotta. Oh. Fuck! God fucking damn it. <laughs> Fine. We do it quick. Chair, let's go. Creatine monohydrate? Hmm. V? Listen. Need to be sure I'll wake up after this. Can you wait here? Please? Finished. The blockade is inactive. Kid will wake up soon. Chip's just inactive. You were gonna remove it. True, but... Chip's buried in the inner ear. You'd have to get invasive. Receptor muting safer, less risky. Chip's dead. Aaron will recover quickly. Good work, Demir. Ah, oh, fuck. Look, Angie, you know how it goes. They come in, guns, fists ready. Demir, but what was I to do? For now. We'll talk later. There he is, our little Aaron. Wonder what he's dreaming about. Apparently used his brain for once. Didn't come alone. Am I supposed to be intimidated? Get him, boys! <laughs> Take the fucker down. <laughs> I, I saw grab and I was like I had to <laughs> I had to it said grab I was like uh oh I was just gonna do it I, I saw the grab <laughs> I just really wanted it been a while. You know why I'm here. I told you not to come, man. Like you see a prompt that says grab, grab. Like, what are you supposed to do? Not do it? V? Also, I'm pretty sure you can't grab skull Listen, heads. Need to be sure I'll wake up after I think this. their technical ability is above in? yours, despite you being able Please. to excel in one or many things. I may be able to do more damage than her. I might have more health, more resistance, but her chrome might be better. Which doesn't mean anything to me. But that's the bacon, you know? There. Finished. The blockhead is inactive. Kid will wake up soon. Chip's just inactive. You were gonna remove it. True, but... Chip's buried in the inner ear. You'd have to get invasive. Receptor muting safer, less Probably risky. Probably think not. I don't know. Chip's dead. Aaron will recover quickly. Good work, Demir. Ah, oh, fuck. Look, Angie, you know how it goes. They come in, guns. This is Sam Devastan. Why does she have a San, San Devastan, but she was able to... She doesn't have break hold. These guys have break hold. And she doesn't have that. Tamir, you can fuck off for now. We'll talk later. There he is. Our little Aaron. Wonder what he's dreaming about. Apparently used his brain for once. Didn't come alone. So, we gonna have a problem? 
like to solve problems, not cause them. Same. Pragmatism. Like it. Like others to like it. Now, got any idea who you're protecting? A boxer you're out to ruin. End his career. Aaron built what he has on our eddies. He owes us. Fights things to us. Before that, he did... other things. Aaron was our heavy. Good at it, too. Busted debtors' legs, set house fires... It's who he is. But wild violence like that needs honing. Nurturing. So we invested in implants. Training. Aaron owes us. We just want him to pay off his debt. Need him to throw the Vince fight. That's it. And we'll be even. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? Fight of his life, it's supposed to be. And you want him to take Thank a you, dive. Vickies. Aaron's mixed it up a dozen times. Or the seven so czar. Most of his fights That's cool. were fixed. What a cool currency. It's nothing unusual. What'll you do? Just flip the switch, watch him flop? I mean the blocker. Never used it. He always went down on his own. When we asked. It's worked out well for him. Good for you, too. Let it go. We'll make sure Aaron goes down. You'll net 10% of the winnings. One other way to resolve this. Aaron will take a sweet time coming, too. Unless you want to end up like Sasquatch. Didn't think he could afford a merc in your league. I was wrong. Swung above his weight. But, I advise you to consider what you're going to tell him when he wakes up. <laughs> That's Sasquatch Hammer. Oh, fuck. Oh. Wouldn't recommend head surgery to anyone. Oh. Yeah, don't... Not exactly the best pastime. Your friend swung by while you were out cold. Had us a little chat. Shit. And? All good. Convince him to leave you alone. Fuck. Not good. Them coming in means one thing. They'll come by after the fight too. Might not be enough just to deactivate the chip. Fuck. Don't know. It's fine, you Vickies. Think? I appreciate I the generosity. The fight after all. Angie told me a bit about your past. A little ripping's no way to solve all your problems. This ain't about your boxing career. Stakes are different, you get it? Yeah, I think. Guess I know what you mean. Thanks, V. Impressive. I haven't seen Angie shut up like that. Still, you should probably leave. The scabs will let you pass. <laughs> What's left of them? Get out of here before I take you out! <sighs> trying to tell me what to do. Someone's there. How did I avoid spoilers for so long? I'm pretty good at that. Damn, big old hands. What the hell? Looks like Andre the Giant's grippers. Not yet, bitch. Okay. I'm trying to do this, but I'm not like he's not contacting me. So hold on. Here's what we're going to do. It says wait two days. So that's what we're going to do.
There he is. Hey, I'm back in town. What's your status? Sniffed around, did some side gigs. No word, no sign of our runner friend. Then we redouble the effort, all right? Had another pair of eyes. Alex, former team member. She's in Dogtown, under deep cover. She'll help out. Roger that. Got an address? Longshore Stacks, the dive bar called the Moth. After sundown, yeah? Got it. And sense is trained on any potential shadows. Can't open my phone. There we go. Cute. Very cute. I already answered this question. I forgot, you can't get into Dogtown. I, I completely forgot, that's on me. She can't- she, she can't get into Dogtown like I can. Also, who the hell wants to go to Dogtown? What kind of monster wants to live here? Not can, or should, or can't live anywhere else. I'm saying there are people that physically choose to live here, and they're insane. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not that they physically choose to live here. It's just that they do. Biotech Gamma Mark IV. Cool. To the mega building to meet my hot, delicious brown tomboy. Gonna go after Easter eggs? No. Not that, not that kind of guy. If I get super far in this stream and... I, I don't want to play anymore, but I don't want to end the stream. Uh, I could play like a couple different roguelikes. Pan Am, hey. Hello, V. This is nice. Ugh. I'm starting to feel that stress go away. More World of Horror? I could do that. Come here. Oh, stop. How's it going? Depends on what the it is. And what you want to hear. Oh, you know, the huge. I longed for you, V. <laughs> oh, I see you've already played out this conversation all on your own. Force of habit. Pan Am. 
I did, though. I missed you. Yay. I could sit here with you all night. It should have been me! I think I'd like that. Yay. Let's talk a little while longer before I have to delta somewhere. You have no idea how much I needed that. Oh, this is kind of... How's it going with Rogue? Just whatever dialogue. It's going. Knock on wood. So, things are settled? For now, we're good at avoiding each other. And that's fine with me. No complications with Kang Tao. So far, so good. They sent another patrol around the station. But they're dead set that it was Raffin that downed their AV and attacked Hellman's guards. Station's proprietor's sticking to that version. So we're covered for now. Listen, what if I told you the FIA approached me about a gig? The FIA? As in the NUSA's intelligence agency? No shit. Guess you must have heard Space Force One crashed in Dogtown. There was talk, rumors, conspiracy theories. What of it? This FIA agent asked me for help. And now you're talking to the Choom who rescued the president of the NUSA. God damn! Truly, you've outdone yourself, V. <laughs> Secret agent. The one thing missing from your resume. Just as long as you know. Governments, heads of state, all that. Even if you think they owe you for some reason, it usually boils down to them having something on you. So stay vigilant, okay? And this is my goon cave, Pan Am. Talk about it some other time, okay? I certainly hope so. Okay, I was about to say. Slick moves, V. This is. Oh wow! Of all the things to show up. <laughs> this is awful. I hate this. It's so cringe. Like of all of all the songs to show up at that time, it had to be this one. I think he killed it. I think him and Female V did a wonderful job.
It was nice. Oh, the music shut down. Oh, that was on purpose. Yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. It, it was it was just the start. She's the best. I'm racist, but whew, whew, dang. Didn't even throw my clothes on. Uh, there's two cyber psychos down here. Let's go deal with them. dates now. I don't remember ever going on a date with Pan Am uh, in the past. <gasps> the baby! Oh, the baby! Oh, you just woke up. You're all warm. Hi, baby. Are you the baby? Oh, come here. Oh, someone just woke up from a long nap. He sure did. He sure did. You are the baby. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. You are. That's right. I love you. Baby. He just woke up. My sweet little baby. Oh my god, I'm naked. Very nice. So V really didn't put on his clothes, huh? Ow! Hey V, I heard some soldier just open fire on pedestrians at the pier. If you can swing it, I want him stopped, but not killed. Then I'll send the right people for him. More details are on the way. And V, good luck. Sometimes you gotta you gotta let them know, Tiger House. Grimy. Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. done this 
this already awful thing. Oh my god, all of these pedestrians is just... It's just terrible that somebody would do something like that. Guys, we're gonna have to find the perpetrator and stop them. Looks like somebody in chat owes me five cookies. cookies do I want? I want those, um, I want those little powdered sugar cookies with the icing on them. And I, I want them to go down kind of slow, but not too slow, kind of like a peanut butter kind of slow. And the reason why I want them to go down slow is because it'll be more satisfying with milk or water. I'm missing something. It's this guy. His arm's different, but that's the... That's the dude. Hey. I need you to look at me. Yeah, it's him. The guy. Oh, crime. I, I did it on purpose. I, uh, I didn't clip it, but I should have. Uh, I saw a bounce pad in a little room, and I just threw it on the bounce pad, and I killed somebody with it. They want me to do under the pier as well? No, not under the pier.
Just saying for any future web developers, uh, if you make swimming in your game and space does not make you ascend and crouch does not make you go down, you have a bad swimming. Search the attacker. Oh, he had stuff on him. That Cyber Psycho's daughter got kidnapped and turned into a doll. Apparently she was really, really young. Whoa. That's why I like River's personal quest a lot. If you love something, make sure to let it go. <sighs> Be free. Man, I really, really, really do not want to eat bullshit. I'm just trying to eat meat, just meat, and a couple vitamins, and relax. But man, thinking about those powdered sugar cookies got me messed up. I already had my one meal for today. I'm good. I don't want to eat anything else. But I'm just thinking about it like, man. I would freaking kill. Kill. For some, uh... I would kill for some sugar cookies. Of eating cookies, why don't I go to the gym? Uh, I actually don't have any gyms nearby that I really like, so I ended up canceling my membership. Now I work There's out at home. Walkway where people are falling off the map. Find out what's going on. Just don't disappear yourself. Happy to be of service, comrade. Come here. What a great song. If there's a mod that I would really like to install, I'll go do it. I don't mind. But, man, if there's a mod that I really want, I want the radio to be louder. And I also want to be able to listen to the radio in combat. 
Because honestly, man, some of this music is just really good. American Animal Defenders Association. Thank you for rescuing the American short hair you've recently encountered. We're delighted to inform you that the deer mittens has made our way back to Washington safe and sound. We hope that this is the only beginning of our love lasting mutual relationship. Let's fight for a better future for all animals. Based. Absolutely based. I, um... I do not donate to animal shelters. Or sorry, 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 sorry. People shelters. Uh... Any type of human-related organization, I just don't really care about because there's no way for me to prove that there isn't any, uh, corruption. What I do is I donate fucking thousands of dollars all the time to my local animal shelter. They keep asking me if I want a plaque with my face, and I was like, uh-uh, don't do that. I prefer just... Don't, don't do that. I do not want my face anywhere here. Just... Just take the money and take care of the animals. Every time that, um... Anytime that I get money from Twitter, because every now and again, Twitter will give me like 30, 50 bucks. I match it and then I double it and then I just give that to animal shelters. I just... Man, I, I, I hear horror story after horror story after horror story of just non-stop corruption when it comes to shelters and all sorts of stuff. And I just, just don't, don't care. Yeah, for every engagement, For every engagement, I get, um... Um, for every engagement... Uh, that I get on Twitter, it gives me like a cent or something. It looks like there was only one cyber psycho in Dogtown. And I've been doing such a good job that there aren't that many gigs left. Go ahead and head to the moth bar. Your brain waves are synced up to the sound of 88.9 Pacific Dream. So, I, I've got a question for some folks. I got a question for some folks. Uh, you're you, exactly where you are now, but then you get crippled from the neck down. Get the fuck back, will you? you get crippled from the neck down. I know it's a pretty heavy topic. I'm just, it's just a hypothetical because it happened. Um, that guy that got the Neuralink in his head, he, he was able to play video games, but he was crippled beforehand with that, uh, with that thing. So knowing 
you're in the position that you are in now, you have absolutely no control over anything in your body. But Elon Musk walks over to you and says, uh, I will, I will install a chip in your head that will let you do things again. Like, what, what do you have to lose, you know? Because I was thinking, if I'm, like, either this works and I am able to enjoy entertainment again, or I fucking die. Because I, I remember I was talking to somebody on Twitter a long time ago, and it just kind of popped into my head. Because, you know, speaking of augments and stuff. But, like... The the guy that got a Neuralink uh, by Elon Musk was able to play Civ Five, and he can't move any any part of his body. But I'm not justifying what if or what not or what if or what not. It's not what I'm saying. The guy that I that I was talking to said, I don't see a reason to get a Neuralink because it, it, it's, but, well I think his exact words were. Because he deleted the tweet. I don't see a reason to get a Neuralink because I can play Civ 5 just fine. And all I could think of was, well, dude, your arms and legs work. <laughs> if you want my advice, I dumped that pile of human offal. See how he likes being alone. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, better get going. Take care. Chill up, sweet kids. Seeing sunshine round the bend. Just don't you let those bastards walk over you. Hi, baby. What'll it be, honey Hi. Barnes? Hi, baby. I love you. No booze, thanks. Make it a knee cola? Knee cola it is. Hey, V, you're at the bar. Sure am. Waiting for you. I'll be there momentarily. There's, uh, one thing you should know. Okay, what did that be? You know that op seven years back that went south? Well, my eyes left me for dead. Cover story was I sold out to Arasaka. I never told Alex there was a cover. So... Things could get tense. Got it. My tell is to go fuck ourselves. Something like that. I'm nearing the entrance. And there you are. Enjoy, honey bunch. You put my soft drink Thanks. in a bottle glass like that? Okay. First time in here. I got that right? You new to Dogtown? Oh, hell no. I'm looking for an Alex. Like fuck you are. You're on the awfully short list of folks we just don't serve here. Turn the fuck around and get I'll out. I have a gin and tonic. Make it a double. He's with me. You've got some balls. All right, my people. We gotta close up for the day. I ain't going fucking anywhere. Come on. You serious? Everyone out! Now! Ooh. Where do you got to Alex? Seven! Seven fucking years in this shithole! Cause of you, Solomon Reed! Oh, 
Holy. Saul ain't getting it. Maybe you will. Hey, what the hell? Relax. Just want to talk this through. President Myers sent us. Got a mission in Dogtown. With him? FYI, seven years ago, this scumbag stabbed everybody no, in the back. Seven years ago, I was ordered to go to ground, and you were fed a cover story. I had to take the fall. There was no other way. Expect me to believe you? Just like that? Get the fuck out of my sight, both of you. This look familiar? Got direct orders from the president. Right now, that's all you need to care about. I cared. Cared for seven years. <sighs> but now? It's all right. Take a moment. Fuck this. Need a smoke. Not exactly best friends with anybody, huh? Let me try this. Give me a minute. You're gonna talk to her. Someone's gotta. And better me than you. <sighs> Couldn't wait till I was done. I'm V, by the way. Alex. <laughs> so NUSA is tossing us back into the. We got fray, Monster Hunter huh? numbers on the stream New now. Mission. Yeah, afraid so. Well, fire away. Serenade me. FIA agent went missing. Reed and I are tasked with finding her. And all of a sudden, FIA remembers I exist. You know Dogtown better than any other operative in their ranks. Is that good? Eh. Uh. Their ranks. So you're not FIA. Curious. <sighs> what leverage they had on you. Deal's just for this one op, then I'm out. Hey, Cora. <laughs> Wouldn't count on brevity. Me? One in the same mission for the last seven fucking years. Been working the local arms and tech dealers since the war. My one-op, that. Going real swell. Well, I got less time than that. Always starts the same way. Do them a favor, they promise one in return. Sometimes even deliver. Then one day, they nail your dick to the wall. This op mean that much to you? That's why she's a woman now. you're hoping to get something out of it. Question is what? Survival. Woman we're after is offering something that could help me. Just gotta find her first. And by coincidence, Myers also wants her. Who the hell is this bimbo? Songbird. <sighs> Fuck me. Gonna take more than one sig to process that. She on that short list of peeps you don't serve here too? Never told you the whole story, did he? What story? Story of a clusterfuck op. One that led to Reed disappearing and me being holed up here for seven years. Here's the list of operatives. Reed, Songbird, and me. Haven't heard this, have you? That's just perfect. Tell me you believe in coincidences? Or, fuck it, fate? Cause plug the same variables into an equation, and surprise, gonna get the same fucking result. Shit in, shit out. <sighs> well, you and that hangdog Judas are in luck. Cause I got a nasty habit of repeating the same gonk mistakes. Got conditions, though. 
So what's your ask? Monaco. Wanna burn rubber along the Riviera? Drink champagne on a yacht with a fucking duchess. Want a spy's retirement. Diplomatic posting in a warm, gobsmackingly gorgeous place where fruit off the trees is sweet and demand for field work is zero. Think you can manage that? Op orders came from the NUS Prez. So, yeah. Cream. Go back inside, tell him I'm in. <laughs> Gonna need more nicotine before I look at his face again. Thanks, Alex. I look like a so. tooth to you. She's in. Just wants a spy's nice retirement in return. Don't we all? Can't say I blame her. So, heard you need someone to hold your hand, Reed. Take you on a tour of NC's asswart. I came to you because I trust you, Alex. If you say so. Fine, Songbird. Heard we got a sniffer out. Song's M.I.A. Probably here in Dogtown. We were linked, comms like. Song ventured into cyberspace, then got attacked. She vanished just after. That's all we know. I gotta pee real fast. I'll be right back. So, get away, another way to feel like you didn't want yourself to know and let yourself go. And it was your self-control. We need a net runner. Kind who of spends all their waking hours parsing teraflops of data. Might have caught something. You have someone in mind? Wilkie Slider Laguerre. I should have figured. Went rogue a while back, but I know where that little rat nests. So, we paying him a visit? Slider hides out in a would-be spa in Luxor Heights. Flick you exact chords in two secs. Or rendezvous there. Alex and I have some, uh... Catching up to do. <laughs> right. Just uh, don't gouge each other's eyes out. 
need both of you alive and healthy. See that tree there? Yeah. Something special about it? Fitting, isn't it? How the prettiest thing here in Dogshit Town is a monument to the dead? Still don't get this gonk affinity for symbols and empty gestures. Come on. Wouldn't let one for you if I wasn't fresh out just now. Shit, maybe I am as sentimental as everyone else. When I see those two, Reed, Alex, went through something similar myself. I got a bond, the two of them. It took maybe four minutes and they buried the hatchet. See it clear as day. Any shred of friendship they've got left will fizzle out. Not right now, but soon. Could have spilled the truth years ago, stayed tunes. But no, stubborn old Reed had his orders. Hmm. Not mutually exclusive, friendship and duty. Matter of fact, they are. Had good reasons to fly the army coop. Think. How many times you willing to get burned before you stop trusting someone? Hmm. I have a point, Johnny. Replace someone with country or corp. How many times you gotta take a bullet for these motherfuckers in the name of empty promises? Chew on that when you look at those two. Yeah, I think Gonk is just an idiot. I don't think it's the N-word. I honestly don't think that there is a word for the N-word, if not just the N-word in this, in this universe. Ba da 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 Just come out. Wanna go to break? Ah, pardon me. Let's see, what have we got here? Nothing. What a shame. Maybe it was some form of, uh... Maybe it was some form of... Cyberware. Yeah, 
Yeah, some form of phantom liberty. We break our backs in this shit all day and day. I'm wondering if Max, if I'd be able to fight on Max Tack. I doubt it. And I'd be willing to bet that if I got up to five or six stars, then I'd really be in for a world of hurt. You lose. Nah, I'd win. Activates Berserk. Can't die. Gets stunned over and over and over and over and over again. Cyber Psycho at the worst possible time. Not like I had much of a choice, you know. you and Alex needed a while to catch up. Hmm. Yeah. All swell now, though. Let's go. Time's at a premium. Let's get it, Reed. Come on, master. Let's kill the hole. Beach. They posted lookouts. Go figure. I doubt they'll play nice and just let us in. Easy peasy, I say. Crack some skulls and roll in. I'd rather avoid a mess. But if that's the option you want... Tell you what, play by ear. I say Bushido, you let loose. You look like bad news. Turn around and crawl back to the hole you came from. Looking for a net runner. Not a kind of service we provide, partner. So kindly fuck the fuck off, eh? Not about to be stopped by the likes of you. Gonna get slider, just like I got Mama Brigitte. That was you. Shit! Everybody, come out! Come out! I never was one for the, the stealthy approach. Uh. 
I'm in. Need to read up. Turn the cooling down. Port's wide open. <laughs> it worked. I may have uh, <clears throat> gotten a little crazy there. Uh, didn't mean to lose my cool. choice when they opened up at us. <laughs> Fuck me. Solomon Reed. I would be lying if I said I have missed you. And you? You brought death to Mama Bridget. <laughs> Will that be your gift for me as well? Here to make a deal, nothing more. A deal? Let me guess. An empty promise and a bullet to the brain when you decide I am of no use to you. That kind of deal. I knew poor souls who tried to strike a deal with Solomon Reed. Remember them, Agent Reed? If one party is backed into a corner, it is not negotiation, it is extortion. You say tomato, I say fucking deal with its lighter. Now, cut the shit, and do us the courtesy of hearing us out. Need some intel. Street says you're the one to get it. Me? <laughs> I am a blind man. I see nothing. No nothing. Cyberspace that could be is David's my only field of vision. Well, it just could so be. happens, what we need is one who knows cyberspace. Sees lots in it. Donk, dim, sir. What specifically do you want from me? Soon after SF-1 crashed, a runner was attacked while on the net. Attack severed our link. We need to locate her stat. Ah, so you want one to investigate net traffic on the day of the crash? Got a malfunctioning relic in my skull. That's how she made contact. That help any? Hmm. Perhaps. I will need a peek at this trinket in your head. Well, okay, I guess. I will be gentle, this I promise. Keep your eyes on him, Reed. I am blind, not deaf. Those eyes don't work. Let us see what we have here. I see traces, bursts of data in cyberspace, the wake of someone's passage. They're mad. This I do not believe. You out of your mind coming to me with this shit. I think Slide it just happened on you hanging out in my head. Nah, this is something else. What you see? The black wall. It bring only death. Specific Slider. I didn't even see Johnny Dear phase out. Woman, did you know she used the black wall protocol to connect with you? I had no idea, no. Now you do. What's that mean for us? For what we need? 
how to explain to layman. The net has layers, various vectors for translocation. But there is one thing that must not be touched. The black wall. The woman, she is walking, ticking bomb, megatons. She go boom, everybody fucked in the ass. Every last one. Miwanwa, it is a dam that protects us, the civilized world, from the strange pets of the cyber wilderness. If your two-leg bomb crack the dam down the middle, it will unleash a flood. Wipe us off the map, just like Haiti. That why you and the Pacific of Voodoo's don't see eye to eye? Because they're poking holes in the black wall? They do not penetrate, only jerk off next to it. Netwatch try to keep them in check. But you have to be caught in the first place to want to stick your gigit into a live wire outlet. To the AIs, past the black wall, you are no more than a cockroach, a rabbit, a fragment of outdated code with no meaning. This why Netwatch flatline any who put integrity of black wall at risk. It's no laughing matter, my friend. It is a concern for the safety of all. That's why you, my friend, need to restore V's connection to our girl. You are out of your mind. Heard what he said about messing with the black wall, right? Risky business. It's even riskier to let Soundberg poke more holes in it. We need to make contact with her. Communication's key. Perhaps you do. I do not. Non-negotiable, Slider. We need to find her. Besides, as long as she's out there, they catch her scent, they catch yours now, too. They'll sit their wirehead freaks on to you and your people. So, you'll help me clean this up, cover all tracks, snip any threads leading back to you and consequently us. Do that, and we'll be square. You'll be off the FIA's hook, too. Meld, it's my lucky day. That's how you spell Merit. Well, in Voodoo Boy accent. Here we go. was the only way to reach you after SF-1 was hot. Listen, dude, don't have much time. Hanson's people tracked me down after I res the Chimera. I've been... detained. I'm not in any danger. Not as long as I behave, to what I'm told. I need to look out. Dennis. Songbird. Something okay? is not right, man. Black Sapphire Bay. Hanson's hosting a huge ship in there. Crash it on the sly. I'll find you. Make sure to tell me. I have one set for both of you. Look. Is everything all right? Poor bastard.
I, I, I really hope so, I could have saved him with my intelligence. I saw four out of six and knew I could have. I was gonna Slider. fail. Slider, he flatlined because of us. Flatline period. Need you to come clean. Were you gonna off him no matter what? Questions moot. Slide is dead. What's done is done. So, Songbird, what's up with her? Got the link back. Why up. did I just folks. get XP for killing she's something? Fine, mostly. Needs our help, but she's fine in one piece. I just got 13 solo XP All for right. something dying. Peace later. Come on, let's delve her out of here. Could be more of Slider's lackeys looking around. Take it easy, Slider. Is I killed Slider? Oh. I guess. Oh, he bounced! Uh, 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 That's all of them. Activating cyber psychosis at the most inoppor inopportune time. It's such a good benefit. If you can, if it ever fucking turns on. What a really weird reload. Next build, I might focus on these bad boys. I honest to God forgot they were in the game. I saw this gun earlier, and it looked weird. Oh, I guess I... didn't? Never mind.
Difficulty I'm on? Hard. Let's move on. Find a quiet corner. Happy birthday, Flamin' Jay. I didn't mean to wait so long to hear that. Yo, 80 bullets, just like the finals! What did Songbird tell you? She's tapped into the block wall. Didn't deny it. No big thing. Kinda. We need to find her, fast. Did she drop any coordinates? Song needs our help, Reed. Hansen's nabbed her, holding her, for reasons. God damn it. I can't imagine any worse news than that. Black Sapphire. Said Hansen's throwing a big bash there. We get in, she'll find us. Any idea what and where the Sapphire is? The finals? Over there. See the tall of the two scrapers? Next to the one with the big ass screen. That's the Black Sapphire. A would-be hotel ended up a failed multi-billion eddy investment. Hansen's fortress, smack in the middle of Dogtown. We can't just barge in. Yeah, we can. Doubt we have anyone on the inside or affiliated who could crack open a door either. Alex and I will pull some strings, run our contacts. We do the same. You know, think of who you know around here. Maybe what will happen on an idea, find a way. No local fixer. Goes by Mr. Hans. Could ring him. Do it. We'll be in touch. He got fucked by a horse and died. Okay. I think now is a perfect opportunity to stop here. I'm not ending the stream. Don't don't get that mixed up. The stream is not over. I just want to rotate games. It's been two hours. And I'll be honest, other than the story, I'm kind of plateauing out on my cyberpunkness. So I'll uh, leave it to a vote. World of Horror or I could do World of Horror, could do the finals. Or court could do Uh nah. Nah, we'll just keep it simple. We'll just keep it simple. I do a quick poll. Ah. All right, poll is up in chat. Stream is not over. I am not going anywhere. That way nobody has to leave. I finally got the achievement for beating, um... Uh... Something terrible has found you. Something horrible. And world of horror it is. Let's do it. Ah. Something truly evil. Thank you. Good old world of horror.
All right. Let's do a custom playthrough. I have never done a spell build. I need to do a hard mode character. I'm thinking I'm going to give this guy a try. I'm going to do timeline B. Uh, random perk cards available to everyone. Random everything. And then... Arbinger of Doom. I have absolutely... No faith in myself with the ability to beat this. since I have no intention of using, uh... I have no intention of using... Uh, anything like that. I have no intention of using spells. School nurse is busted. I love her so much. Why is I haven't unlocked the gun girl? It's hard. She's, uh, you gotta get lucky. What the hell is that? We'll just go with the Phoenix Wright fit. Alright, I have no, no confidence. Oh wow, Morbid Mermaids. That would be a really... There's so many different endings to Morbid Mermaids. And also, uh... You also get, uh, the Fire Axe. If you can do that correctly. I'm absolutely not confident in any of these. I'm so scared. I'd really like to do Violent Vigil. Evolving Eels is going to be the easiest one. Alright, so... I'm going to try to remember to do the narration voice on things that matter. If people care enough, or we could just, you know, do this normally. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? My mocap suit is actually put away. <laughs> That's, that shit scared the hell out of me. <laughs> uh, 
I'm not gonna narrate this one because I it's basically just pretending to be Kana. Me, but I'm afraid I'm too much of a coward to do it myself. Can you help me? Charisma check failure. Unable to convince the person you... Close your eyes as they jump off the cliff. Suddenly the air around you begins to whirl. A supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. Strength check success. The sudden blizzard disappears as fastly as it began. You leave the beach quickly. You may be going crazy, but you swear something is watching you from the sea. Mr. Ooh, your neighbor, is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. Incredible! He shouts in excitement. How do you come up with this stuff? Sensing the story will be a huge hit, he pays you a token of appreciation. Dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? Must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. Access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it. If only there was a way to make her go away for a while. Charisma check failure. You weren't able to convince the receptionist to let you access the database. This has been a complete waste of time. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You do find a few jars, all filled with a weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Kana decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can they sip their soda so calmly staring at this creepy animal? You find an envelope lying on your pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and a note from someone who's been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. But how did this envelope end up in your bedroom? I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go check it out. A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she, she tries to explain what happens. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower had started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads into a dark apartment. Knowledge check success. You don't enter the bathroom. Instead, you go straight to the building's boiler room. One pipe coming from the ground looks like it was welded to the central system recently. But where does that lead? Connor was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try to decipher the notes. Your neighbor really was into eels, it seems. I begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. Our master is coming, and we all can bask in its glory.
That was a lot of doom. There must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there. He shrugged non-committally. I just wish you could throw this damn jar in the trash. wanted a new weapon. Oh, damn. It only applies to the dog. these so expensive I did not mean to buy that I just wanted to look at it god damn it I thought isn't the carpenter hammer one of the worst items in the game Well, I'm at 35 doom at the very first fucking quest. People point at and talk about a man on the other side of the street. He looks confused, muttering to himself while occasionally touching a festering wound on his cheek. You stop in your tracks and listen to the man's cursed incantation. stupid it is of Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment, you go to sleep. You spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell are they? You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Cautiously into your neighbor's kitchen, you are shocked to see the countless jars filled with eels flailing around, around restlessly. Where the hell is Kana? I found the neighbor, but when his eye burst, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my eye now, too. see countless tiny eels crawling out of your friend's eye in all directions. Will Kana even survive the blood loss? You rush to the hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater, and you collapse in a chair in the waiting area. Wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for three hours. You groggily open your eyes to see your friend. Kana's wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, huh? Couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened. I'm pretty sure I won't be riding, winking with my left eye anytime soon, but thank you for saving my life. You're still processing the events of the previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs in eyes? Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building, you've watched the police officers emptying out your neighbor's place. Friendly dog disappeared. Fuck.
Oh, these are completely worthless now. Coughing blood, minus two dexterity. I can fix that really fast! Uh, next is Beckoning Bulletin, because this one's really easy. Bloody brief of a Beckoning Bulletin. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anybody, anybody can connect to a bulletin system, or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all the messages on that bulletin, and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics. Everything from video games to sports to idol culture. But in the wake of sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun and games. Rumors have surfaced that a deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind the suicides? How could so many people be driven to take their own lives? Even if a rumored bulletin systems and phone number is found, there is no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school library has one that will work? group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They're enacting some sort of ritual in the clearing up ahead. The only nearby advantage point is a large rock. Strength check success. You manage to see some of the faces and hear the names of the group. Check failure. You wonder what it could all mean. After searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a note. She said she would do everything to be with you, even if it meant to cheat death itself. I need a perception weapon. Chainsaw would be really nice. And Occult Diary is badass, because minus three doom. Fuck yeah. What's the gimmick of the felon playing as? He spawns with- he starts with a camera and a shitload of perception. The camera's great. I- I- I gotta keep remembering that I have it. I have to actually use it. While the school's library computer doesn't have a modem, you happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. She apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arrange to meet her at home in the city. You enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite of you. 
that's marked with your name. You reach for the package but hesitate, an icy feeling settling into the pit of your stomach. You leave the next station in a hurry, hoping to forget the package as soon as possible. You lug the cardboard box full of PC parts up your apartment stairs, teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. God damn, a computer's heavy. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up! Shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there! Dexterity check failure. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back in shock. The man sees you and tries to get in, screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police and the attacker escapes from your apartment building. You wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. The newscaster on the TV says that the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in other nearby towns. You need to act quickly. Suddenly, it got really cold in the corridor. As you turn to leave, you're stopped by a man with unnaturally pale skin and giant lips. He kisses the air and takes a step closer. Hey, do you guys want to vote Democrat? Oh, <sighs> uh, yeah. Just just can't wait. Oh, so excited. Vote blue no matter who, huh, fellas? I kid, I kid. I know more than you, Hellboy. There is a way to do this. I might have to redo this run because I just didn't get a good... a good weapon. I really don't know of any perception weapons other than maybe like a knife or two, but I think they might be related to knowledge instead.
four, five, six, seven. Three, six, nine. Damn, he did three health? At least I got my reason back. That's nice. I've got to get a better fucking weapon. Alternatively, a knowledge weapon would be good, which I probably could have bought from the occult shop. I mean, first aid's pretty baller. Uh-oh. Yep, didn't stand a chance. Over here, two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering at her grandparents' home at the village in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. Stop right there! You won't destroy my life's work! That was, uh, not smart of me. I forgot. I thought this was something else. I didn't realize it said 40% hit chance. Um, might be dead here. I think they nerfed the, f the camera flash because it doesn't act as a dodge anymore. I just want to restart. I just did not get lucky. I used up a, a bunch. I mean like a bunch of my money and my Hello? doom just trying to get everything in order. But the sheer fact I was able to get uh, a mission done means I've got, you know, progress. Resting increases the doom penalty. Sure, let's try this one. Vanished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through reflective glass. The glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. That's a chance to dodge, too. Oh! I didn't know the camera did a dodge. Noted. Okay. Shop for items, and I'm gonna do a cult shop. Uh, no library, school nurse. And on the illegal den. Empty bottle, we got lucky. Boom. Rank West! Do that, water bottle, XP. And we are ready to begin. Residential Recluse. I don't remember that one. Peculiar Painting has the chainsaw. But I need to have money to get not only a flashlight, but also fuel. Good news is, is that I don't really need to do prepare on this guy because I know what he does and I don't think it's going to help me that much.
Oh yeah, residential recluse. It's that one. There's two endings to this one, and I think I need, like, fuel in order to do it. Something about burning down the building. I want peculiar pa uh, painting and evolving eels. Oh yeah, we got it. Yeah. Alright, let's do evolving eels just to get Kana, since she's the greatest fucking companion you can possibly have. And then pray, because I do not... Maybe I won't go perception, who knows. Maybe I'll just go dex. No, his strength is pretty high. His knowledge is much higher, so I should, uh... I can go to the occult shop and grab grab that knife. If she has it. But I'm gonna need some money first. Hey, I got lucky. Uh. I feel like I should not Oh cool I feel like I could- I should be able to unlock this guy. Oh wow, what the shit? That's amazing! they keep updating the game? Uh, it hasn't received an update since it came out. Oh, wow. But I don't have a weapon. I'll take it. The wood is soaked in a curious dark red liquid. This is a- there's a ghost here. It's a good opportunity to learn the clap, clap clap bow, but... I don't- I don't really want to deal with that. If I had the spare health, but I don't. Minus two stamina from a cold bath. Wow. Kill me now. Passing a faulty elevator, its door suddenly open. You take a step back, noticing a weird tall woman standing in the darkness. Do you live here? I've never seen you. So it does give you a chance to dodge still. Okay, noted. I'm 
Not great, but something. God, if I could just find a good weapon. I'm doing pretty good so far. I don't need the reason penalty. This was Junji Ito inspired? That's because it is. Oh, I hate this one. Minus two reason without telling you. Minus three reason, fun stuff. There we go. Treatment and surgery costs more. I'm okay with that. I will survive. Oh yeah, the little face jump scare thing. Yeah, the face jump scare. Uh, you lose two reason from that. Come on. There, there it is. If we can find outdoorsmen, we can get that girl. Just gotta find outdoorsmen. Alright, Medusa Metamorphosis. Alright, we haven't done this one yet, so I'll read it. Mysterious myth of Medusa Metamorphosis. Everyone is talking about the weird giant jellyfish ambushing swimmers. Even the local biology teacher can't identify the species as more and more people end up hurt badly. You remember from reading an article that a famous marine biologist is spending his vacation in the city. Maybe you should seek his help. The famous biologist is spending his vacation at the seaside mansion. You need to take a bus here, there. Force is scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Jesus Christ. Seriously? I was about to level up. The camera is pretty great. I love the camera. The 
Since biologist is spending his vacation at the seaside mansion, we need to take a bus there. Taking the bus, you can't help but notice the large number of trees that have suddenly died. What could be the cause? Crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse, carried to the beach by waves. Dexterity failure. Reaching for the body, you're attacked by several crabs that don't want to share their meal. You finally arrive at the seaside. The water here is unnaturally cold and unwelcome. Wait a minute, that's weird. You shouldn't be able to see the lighthouse from this side of the bay. suddenly fills your mouth. It tastes metallic. Before you can react, you hear a slow, low, growling sound from behind you. It is Canis, the Lunar Cat. Kirin? No, it's not him. There's no way. Kirin's not blah, blah, African American. Some of the mansions are abandoned and the roads leading to them are overgrown. You have to somehow find biologist's vacation home. Following you since this morning, you finally managed to lose them, but you can't shake the feeling that will only get worse. You finally enter the right place. Inside, there are many jars with various jellyfish species, but where's the biologist? You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth eaten black velvet in an old locked cabinet. When you remove the book's wrappings, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. You may never know what's inside the hideous book, but perhaps that's a good thing. Inside a dusty study, you find a map of the cliffside, with a point clearly marked. If this is where the biologist is performing the studies, is this where the biologist is performing the studies? Whoops. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched to the unsuspecting guests together her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? <laughs> Inside the cupboard, you find a sewing kit and decide to leave the room before any legends spring to life. something. The map's coastline doesn't match the actual thing. Why's that? Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. The tides, the rise and fall of the sea level changes the coastline. You should wait. A low tide reveals a semi-sunken cave, which corresponds with the point marked on the map. Reluctantly, you enter into the unknown. A low tide reveals a semi-sunken cave. Is this the place where the biologist is running their experiment? Whatever you decide to do, you should hurry. When the high tide comes, the whole cave will be submerged underwater, potentially trapping you. You explore the cave, trying not to slip and fall into the cold water. Hearing some weird noise from behind a corner, you brace yourself. A humanoid creature seems to have no skin. Its black blood courses through yellow veins, and its pale sinew and powerful muscles are visible. It screams and lunges at your direction. Waves violently crash against the rocks as the gory horror begins to encircle you. Thank you. 
It's back. I missed a 75% chance. Oh, joy. off completing the, the thing. It's only after the meat hole falls to the ground dead that you notice a bag further down the cave. Inside you find a bunch of neatly folded clothes and a journal. It belongs to the famous marine biologist. The last entry dates back to when the jellyfish attack started. The ancient tablet I found when exploring the caves near Shiokawa has, for the lack of a better word, cursed me. I can't explain this, but every other night my skin slips off my body as if it has a mind of its own. It always returns to me in the morning. I just have to wait in the cave where the tablet was. What will happen to the giant skin jellyfish without its host body? You have no idea, and hopefully you will never learn the answer. I did not fill up my water bottle, I forgot about that. Gotta do noisy nails. I hate this one. Uh, 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 uh. The morbid killing spree continues as another body is found in the city's river. Every victim shares one common trait. Their finger and toenails are missing. They've been pried off. Why nails? Could the killer have a hidden motive? Are they sending a message? We must hurry up before they claim another victim. It was a good attempt. I figured I would have had enough. But I guess I'm wrong. I had everything all lined up. What the hell is that? Oh, the inconceivable sad. Oh, the O game, he got us. Damn it, I gotta stop doing that. Customize. That's what we want. Dude, Mimi's challenge sucks. I hate that one. Her challenge thing scares the shit out of me. It's like slice off your kneecap for a bonus. Like, oh, good lord.
元気ですかはい、ご迷惑をおかけしました I've never done this one I just realized I think that's supposed to be、uh, something truly evil. I'll put it back on normal mode. Let's do this backstory too. I need compass. I need compass. Bad. She has seven perception. God, her dex is terrible. I'm wondering.、Um, I need the shop and I need the police station. God, she looks so stressed out. What the hell is that? Weird ass outfit. Must be a reference to something that I know nothing about. Peculiar painting will help me、um, get the chainsaw. Just gotta get a flashlight and a compass. If I can get a flashlight and a compass, I'll be able to get as much XP necessary to level up really fast with this girl. But then I need、uh, fuel, which I will also be able to get. Do have normal arms. You finally pick up a checkbook. Plus three funds, plus four doom. Okay. I'm okay with that. Shop. Compass. And then we'll shop one more time. Come on, one more, one more. There we go. Now I'm at 23%. Oh my god, 50? Well, this runs over.
Dude, I, I, I've barely, I haven't even done anything yet. I actually don't stand a fucking chance. I forgot, hunger is completely useless to me. She's even sweaty in her little profile. So every time Doom goes up, her percentage goes up. So every Doom check fucks her. It's a ghost. I guess this is a decent opportunity to get this out of the way. Broken nose? Oh. I got two right. That means there's three bows. Two claps. I'm not gonna lie, I hate this. I would rather restart than do this. I did not realize I had fucked my entire run. I'm open to trying the ghost girl. I am not open to having my entire run fuck sideways. Nice, got an empty bottle. I have... I have absolutely no chance... ...of getting the chainsaw with this girl. I have no chance. Ah, residential recluse. Be easy to just knock out of the way. Well, you don't get much normalcy in your life these days. Today was supposed to be just that. You've been planning to take today to de-stress before your next investigation. Instead, you awoke to find yourself trapped inside your own apartment. The walls have crumbled over the door and windows, leaving no exit. Looking through the peephole, you yell and call out to passing neighbors, but your cries fall on deaf ears. Who could have done this to you? Most importantly, how are you gonna get out of here? Does anybody know what the button is to highlight stuff? There's a button that highlights something, your everything on your screen. It is Z. Thank you. Sitting on the sofa, you find yourself repeatedly checking the time to get some grounding. When you go to eat, though, you realize the clock in your kitchen displays a different time, and your bedroom alarm clock is completely different from others. Being 
being stuck in here is really starting to get to your head. To set yourself straight, you slap yourself hard enough to see stars, chug some coffee, and avoid looking at the clocks again. At least he can't get through either. No access to the outside world means you only have so much food to eat. Deep in the back of your pantry you discover a rusty can of meat. How long has this been in here? Opening the can, it smells fine, but... You already regret your decision by the first disgusting bite. An hour later you feel something writhing in your stomach trying to get out. Maybe that meat was too fresh. There's a weird drawing stuck to your door. When you go to use the bathroom, you notice there's a clump of hair coming from your sink drain. You're certain that it's not yours. You tug the strand up out of the drain only to find a few coins tied to the end of the hair. You pocket the money and try not to think about it. You still change clothes every day, but is there any point if you're not going outside? The pantry is starting to run out of easy meals and you don't have the energy to cook. You don't see anything interesting in the hallway today. Running out of ways to keep yourself busy, the boredom makes you want to beat your head against a wall. You can't see outside anymore. Just standing here makes you lightheaded. The bed is too tempting, you shouldn't stay long. Something guides your, ha guides your hand. What is this? You don't have the energy to keep searching. Your mind is hazy. It's all blurring together. You just want to sleep. You're beginning to doubt this door will ever open again. Perhaps it's better that way. You don't have much of an appetite. The apartment cradles you gently in your sleep every night, keeping you warm within her ribcage. What were you doing again? Something guides your hand. I used to live here too. This was the only place that was e good. All I could do was stay in, eat and sleep. And when the food ran out, just sleep. When someone eventually came for my corpse, I'd already made my way inside. You moved it. I can, can't tell you how happy being with you has made me. Please don't worry. I'll keep you safe. I promise. I'm wondering if using the stuffed toy will get rid of her on the run. I doubt it because it's not a curse, it's considered personal.
closer, you notice thin cracks in the wall above the bed. Something dark, glistening, red pulsates inside. The cracks move like lips and the apartment whispers to you. Just lay down. You hear a wooden support beam creak as the walls flex, reaching towards you from all sides. And let me take care of you. The wall opens further, deeper. A girl lies curled up inside of the apartment's womb. I just want you to be safe here. What did I do? Why won't you just stay? expression of agony overtakes the girl's face. Her hair gets tangled in the apartment's churning guts and her flesh begins to melt apart. Her, she arches her back and avoids the scream until her pale body finally collapses on itself. You stumble out of the room, things seem to have returned to normal, and your door can open again. Relieved, you take the chance to go out for a walk. Only a few hours later do you return to the bedroom to find a lump beneath your bed's covers. Peeling back the sheets reveals the toy that you had destroyed. The piece is held together with sections of pulsing flesh, and beside its body is a small note. I'll always keep you safe. Never got that ending before. I guess I could just make her a strength based character. Trying to get the flashlight, trying to get the fuel is going to be a little bit too difficult. Oh no. I hate this one. Beckoning bulletin will be a little easier. What was her preparation? It was checkbook. She has a sh she can sacrifice experience for money or something. Oh my god. Oh, Doom for money. Okay, noted.
A woman bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. If... if I can't see it, she cries, it can't see me, right? You shudder, seeing a faint vision of Goizo's reflection in the beauty parlor's mirror. While the school's library computer doesn't have a modem, oh, I already read this. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Bitch. Shit. Stupid. Stupid. Bitch. Oh my god. Fuck off. How did- what? A 10? A fucking 10 for a cold bath? It is easier to convince someone to not kill themselves. Oh, I got a sewing kit. Hopefully I'll be lucky enough to find hair. Is the game fun? Oh, absolutely. It's more terrifying than fun. You can cast one spell without paying anything. I have no spells. Cold baths are good for you, but you have to actively be... Like, you have to actively know what you're doing. Like, if you just jump into a cold bath... Fuck! That sucks! That sucks so much! As someone that takes cold baths all the time, I have to physically and mentally prepare myself for them. But if somebody just goes over and dumps cold water on you, God, that sucks! It's the biggest jolt awake you can possibly have. You could die if done wrong. I mean, according to this game, yeah. School curfew. Oh, library's disabled. Hey, this library. I do not have a weapon, so doing doing school scissors is going to suck. Alright, noisy nails. station could be useful. Your friend's cousin works there, and she could help you. Time, of the, time is of the essence, so you decide to take a shortcut to an abandoned building site.
Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying nearby. You offer to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. Reluctantly, your friend's cousin gives you a photocopied file. You thank her and you leave quickly. The school building seems like a safe place to study a file. Victims of the serial killer seem to be chosen randomly. There's no obvious pattern in regards to age, sex, and education. You should continue your search in a hospital where the victims are. On your way to the next destination, you stop the tall man wearing a dirty kabuki mask. He's talking to a woman and slowly reaching into his pocket. Quickly flee from the pair and pretend you can't hear the woman's screams. You try to sneak into the mortuary, but the hospital staff is on high alert. You decide to wait here a bit. Maybe you'll manage to find a way in? As a part of the therapy, some patients took part in art classes. Some of their work fills you with dread. One of the mortuary technicians acts strangely. He has left the building and returned twice already. Each time he comes back, an ambulance arrives with a new victim. You can't shake off the feeling that you're being watched. Notice that the man keeps his hospital key in a back pocket. If you could steal it, entering the hospital would be so much easier. While you walk through a crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Perception failure. Before you realize that your wallet is missing, the thief is long gone. Oh, I'm sorry. You excuse yourself after bumping into the man. He frowns and hurries away, not noticing that you've managed to steal his hospital keys. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. Are they preparing a feast for their eldritch masters? It's getting dark and the suspicious man has not returned yet. Now is your only chance to check out the mortuary and learn about the serial killer's victims. Using the hospital key, you've managed to enter the mortuary floor unnoticed. The hospital floor is eerily quiet. You prepare your weapon. Wondering what's going to happen next. The whole room has a pungent, irritating smell you can barely stand. All the dissection tables are empty and you're afraid to think where the bodies are now. You must hurry up before the suspected killer comes back. A masked man jumps from behind the door and you barely dodge his blade. I can't let you leave this room. Are you going to become his last victim?
finally falls to the ground, gag. You alert the hospital staff and assume the whole floor is swarming with police. After a brief interrogation, you're free to go. I did not mean to move forward on that. That's on me. Hi, Satire. Satire, you should play the finals. All right, school scissors and peculiar painting. I do not have a weapon to fight school scissors. She's she's a mandatory fight. I can't ignore her. Uh peculiar painting, I can just let happen. I'll that lady is going to die, but I'll be able to move forward. Perilous parable of a peculiar painting. A damp looking letter addressed to you arrived this morning. Maya Ichiro, a famous painter you were once a huge fan of, has replied to a message you sent him last summer. He thanked you for the letter and invited you to his mansion. You're going to witness the creation of his true masterpiece, he wrote. Just how could you decline? You finally arrived at the mansion's gate. You're afraid you will never be able to remove the lingering musty smell of wetlands from your clothes. Now, where is everyone? Looks like one of the previous owners of this mansion liked to read. Dusty tomes reach the ceiling. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare a minute to look through the books? The books are covered with a thick layer of dust. However, you notice that one tome must have been placed here recently. From it, you learn about distant worlds and bizarre rituals. Walking through the empty mansion, you can hear something rustling in the bushes behind the building. Kneeling by the shrine, you discover a small piece of paper dug behind the statue. Crouching next to the moss-covered stone is a woman. Hello? Are you here for Ichiro's showcase of the newest painting? Ah, uh, where are my manners? My name is Amy, and I'm a curator working for the art gal gallery in Shiokawa. Ichiro-san is somewhere in the mansion, I'm sure. I'd help you look for him, but I want the catalog of these, she says, pointing to the rock. These ritualistic markings are unique to this reason. region. Countless paintings hung on the walls of this mansion. All of them show alien landscapes and weird humanoids dancing around in circles. You don't recognize any of them, but the technique used is unmistakable. Each row pounds painted these. Following the suspicious person, you enter an old, run-down mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk. It has only two doors. One of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use one item you find. Finally, you find a key in one of the desk drawers. You head towards the private rooms, hoping to find the painter himself. The surface of the room you enter is covered in obscene paintings and grotesque monster faces. In the 
middle of the room you spot Ichiro-san repeatedly stabbing Amy and splattering her blood all over the empty canvas. Ichiro-san smiles when he notices you. Ah! My biggest fan! I can't let you know my secret. The Mad Painter slowly takes off his dark glasses. Dude, why did he hit me so hard? He did eight fucking damage to me. Why? I, how did he do eight fucking damage? Christ. Eight fucking damage. What the hell? As you rush to save Amy, you notice something terrifying. All the grotesque painted monsters begin to leave their canvases. Can't do anything but stare as they grab both corpses and begin devouring them. In a last ditch attempt, you knock over a lamp setting the room on fire. Ichiro-san's greatest creations must never see the light of day. I got so lucky there, that was ridiculous. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notes full of cryptics. After he disappeared, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that claims to stop the wicked woman once and for all.
What is this bitch? I feel like I am constantly fighting for my life here. So I know what to equip next time. Ugh. Forced into this encounter. Oh my god, of course it's a fucking stamina fight. Ah. Oh. I finally have reason, and you do this to me. No charisma, I'm gonna fail this. Oh, it was a luck check. Dog. Arian, you're not a dog, you're a cat. An adorable one at that. I love you, baby. Hey, Tyrion. Goodbye. World of horror ring. <sighs> Dude, if I just had a fucking knife. If I just had a knife. If I was smart enough to get a knife, all of these engagements would vanish. That's strange. 55. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm over. Okay, I get it. Yeah, if I had the katana, I would be slicing through. It wouldn't even be a joke. Oh my god, I got so lucky. <sighs> and now I have to do another combat encounter.
We are so fucking back. I cannot believe that. We are so fucking back. Oh my god. I I, I am actually completely flabbergasted. I don't have a clue how the fuck that worked. Actually, just so unbelievably confused at how that worked. Oh my God. <laughs> I cannot believe that shit. Come on, we're grabbing the key. We're getting the fuck out of here. Oh my God. I am so lost. Christ on a cracker. I am s Oh my God. Completely at the mercy. Someone broke into your apartment, stole all the clues and newspaper clippings, and pinned them here. The more you study them, the discover you can't remember any of them except one. Right of the second mystery. Uh. I did the recluse first, then I did bulletin, right? Which one was this? I think it was bulletin. Correct. Oh no you don't, you son of a bitch. I don't have a choice. My doom is going to go up and my horror is going to show up. I figured I probably could have beaten this without the horror ever showing up, but it's because of Takashi and I don't have an actual fucking weapon. 369 or 8. It's better. Yeah, I don't have any handcuffs. I would have been good here. Too late now. It's kind of a shame that uh, my doom is tied directly to that. Trying to take it off. Oh, wow, it got to me. Second enemy I fought? It wasn't roommate. It was Time Warper, wasn't it? Time Warper. Wrong! Eat shit, cocksuckers. 
Is there an achievement for beating the game without the... the ghost ever getting here? Because, man, I almost had that. I almost beat the game without ever... W without ever meeting her ghost. I can't believe I never found her a fucking... I never found her a weapon, ever. I was so worried about the doom that I never actually gave her a weapon. I just used my absurd dexterity to beat the shit out of stuff with a fucking uh, glass bottle. Yeah, the ghost doesn't let you level up, but that's about it. I, I hate this. This makes me feel so fucked up every time. I, I hate this one. All of her little experiments. Ugh. But I beat a run, so I would like to uh, say now this is a good place to stop. If you were curious at all about World of Horror, this game is phenomenal. It's really good. I'm going to make a video on it, and I hope I can probably get it out between in the next two weeks. I doubt that, but I'm going to try. World of Horror is really good. It is terrifying. There is so much about World of Horror that makes it one of the greatest roguelikes on Steam. I am craving... I wish I could get all the damn achievements so I could see everything the game has to offer, but I'm just not good enough at the game. I'm craving a new update. Badly. But I know it's made by one guy. Regardless, absolutely phenomenal game, and I will see everybody tomorrow.